Hey guys, today we're making a Wii in miniature. Roll out a sheet of white clay and cut out a slight rectangular shape. Cut off the bottom corner from the back as well as one of the corners from the front. Then bake. After baking, I used a needle tool and my X-Acto knife to create the lines of where the different parts have been assembled. For the front and back, I marked off the lines and details with a pencil before cutting it out. Then bake again. Use grey clay to make the bottom piece of stand and bake one last time. Now use acrylic paint to add details. And for the vent on the back, I just used a small piece of the net from a tea strainer. I also cut a circle from some plastic packaging and glued this to the bottom. To make the remote you'll need two sheets of clay, one that's really thin and one that's approximately three times as thick. First cut out the basic shape from the thinnest piece and round off the corners. Then mark off the buttons and speaker and make all of the buttons from white clay.
I made the A button by painting it with grey paint and adding some liquid clay on top. Then pre-bake. Use something with a round handle to give the other piece a curve and cut out a rectangle in the same size. Round out the edges and add the final button. And glue the pieces together after baking. I also used the needle tool to make the hole where you would connect the nunchuck before adding details with acrylic paint. Lastly, I cut the edge off a ribbon and used this to make the wrist strap. To make a simple nunchuck, take another sheet of clay and cut out a long teardrop shape. Round off the edges and use a dotting tool and your fingers to shape it, then pre-bake. After baking, I used a needle nose file to correct the shape. Cut out another teardrop from a thin layer of clay and put this on top. You can use liquid clay to make it stick. Add the final details and bake. For the cord, I painted a piece of thread and glued this to the nunchuck. I also added a small piece of baked clay to the other end. If you want, you can add more details to all these pieces than I did, but that's completely up to you. Finally, seal with glaze and you're done.